Why are there so many Northern Irish accents? That's grand, sure. Everybody wants to cry. Spot on. In a recent poll, the Northern Irish accent was voted the sexiest in the UK, with the brogues of Christine Bleakley and Jimmy Nesbitt rating high. But hang on, a Northern Irish accent? There are just so many different accents and dialects jammed into this 13,843 kilometer squared of land that to say there's one just isn't true. Let's just take an inner city Belfast accent. What's happening, mucker? And compare with a Balomino one. Hey boy, I'm the fair hellboy. And add in everywhere in between. Oh, okay. Crazy. Oh, I think you'll find there are a few variations on the theme. First of all, what is an accent? Well, simply, it's the way a person or a group of people pronounce words, the musicality of their speech. A dialect is something bigger, taking in the accents plus the grammatical features. For example, people say y'all in Southern USA, but not in the North. Every one of us has an accent. They form because us humans love to gather and settle in groups. They develop within communities so that we can fit together within these different social groups. Just like people from a certain area support the same football team. You see, you've developed your accent by becoming an impersonator from the day you were born. From day one, you're studying the language around you. And within time, you begin to mimic the rhythms and stresses of the spoken word you hear. First of all, from your parents, then your siblings, and finally your peer group. Your accent sends out all sorts of messages to those around you about your background, your education and your social class. Amazingly, studies have suggested we can recognise an accent is different to our own after listening to just 30 milliseconds of a recording, even if it's played backwards. One theory is that this ability dates back into prehistory when we lived in tribes. This hypersensitivity to slight variations in accent evolved so that we could quickly recognise an outsider, a potential threat to the tribe. That Northern Ireland has such a wide array of accents can be traced back to the Ulster Plantation in the 17th century. The influx of settlers brought with them the dialects of southwest Scotland and the north and midlands of England Mixing with the Irish Gaelic and Hiberno-English, jumbling up to create a mix of hybrid accents over time. But accents are always changing, always mutating with each new generation, especially with the influence of mass media and the constant buzz of voices on TV, radio, movies and the internet. In fact, our accents change all the time, whether consciously or subconsciously, depending on who we're speaking with. A survey showed that 71% of under 30s in the UK were more inclined to change their accent when speaking business in their workplace. It's a different story in the pub. But my favourite fact is that even animals like cows have regional accents. Get this, phonetics researchers at the University of London found that cows in the West Country had a certain Somerset drawl and they believe that they were copying the tones of their farmer's calls and their bovine peers. This vocal imitating of their peers is also found in birds, goats, bats and wheels. So why do these creatures develop accents? For the same reason as we do, to fit in.